it's not really ones and zeros when I mix. It's more of a feeling. You know, once I feel things locked in, I know it's right. You know, I don't I don't sit up here and yeah, let's turn just turn 12k up. You know, 12 dB. Now nah, we're not doing that. You know, it's it's a feeling. We want to give a little bit of that human that human nature to it. You know what I'm saying? That love. He said, "How's your mix bus hitting negative 10, but your kicking bass is hitting like negative two? So that's the the strength of 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 how I got everything routed right now and how I got it summed. You know, it's it's, it's it's ways that I know how to use this board to to use that type of distortion in my favor. You know, to give that that kick or that 808 or that hi hat or whatever I'm 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 blowing out of proportion when it comes to level. I'm able to get a certain type of like peak or like a good distortion from it when I can manipulate it through this board. You know, when you're mixing on on analog gear, you can you can you can distort and you won't get a distortion sound. You will just get a, a a more you know a more fatter sound if that makes sense. He said, "How do you know when you're getting the right level and knock out of your low end?" Again, it's just feeling, you know. But with me also, it's a constant blend. Again, I'll go with the 808 and vocals. I'll make sure the blend, I'll make sure the vocals sit well on top of the 808 with that blend together. And then I'll have the 808 and kick and percussion and make sure all those things blend. I want to make sure everything sits in its, in its respective pocket. So, you know, there's a lot of just fine tuning and cutting out little frequencies here and adding there just to make sure everything is, is sitting around or on top of or, or under each other.